In this video, I'll be walking through the installation for the MT-11 probes in a refrigerator by drilling a hole through the insulation. Before we get started, a quick disclaimer that drilling through a refrigerator may void your warranty. Please consult with your refrigerator manufacturer before making any physical modifications. Let's get started. One of the first steps is to identify the location where you intend to mount and install the probe. The refrigerator I used for my demonstration had an insulation layer on the left wall. This is the perfect place for me to drill a hole as it doesn't have any mechanical parts that could be disturbed. I also decided to mount the empty lens body on the top of the refrigerator for my demonstration here and also considered the length of cable that will be needed. Once that was all set, I started by marking the spot using a permanent marker which will act as a starting point for me to drill the hole. Alright, it's time to drill. I am going to set the stage with the tools I used for this video. This may vary depending on the type of material you have on the fridge, but it will give you a general idea. First, I started with the basics, the MT-11, because of course I need that, as I am going to be installing that. Second, I used a cordless drill so that it's easy for me to use and gives enough torque for my demonstration here. I also used a pilot drill bit to give me uh, a guiding hole and then finally uh, widened the hole uh, using a boring drill bit. In this demonstration, I'm going to be using the glycol encased probe and the thinnest point is at the 3.5 mm jack. The hole needs to be at least 15 mm in diameter for the cable to be routed through the insulation. I've asked my colleague to operate the drill and as you can see, he's starting with a pilot drill bit for the initial guiding hole. It took us about a minute and a half to go through the initial hole uh, using the pilot drill bit. Once we were through, we changed the drill bit so that we can widen the hole to be at least 15 millimeter wide so that we can pass the cable through. After some trial and error, we finally had a hole that was wide enough for the cable to pass through. Now it's time for cleanup. After drilling, we noticed some debris sticking out, so we used a pair of pliers and smoothened the surface using some sandpaper. We also had to clean out the debris from the inside of the refrigerator and for this reason, make sure you have cleared up the contents of the fridge before drilling through the insulation. Alright, so the hard part is done. Now all we have to do is route the cable. As mentioned before, I'm going to use the end with the 3.5 mm jack and pass the cable through the opening very slowly. I plugged in the 3.5 mm jack to the MT-11 body and tucked it away on the top of the refrigerator along with the excess cable. We're now at the final step. Here we use some caulk to seal off the remaining gap around the hole to prevent cold air from leaking out. You can also choose any type of sealant according to your needs. All right. 
right now that we have cleaned and sealed up the opening I've used the magnetic mount to stick the MT11 body on the top of the refrigerator. We can also use the included sticky pads to secure the cable and prevent them from being displaced. And then I finally confirmed the sensing element is secured at the right spot. Thank you very much for watching this video and work simple.